Hi, I'm Max, and I am excited to share with you The Passover Parrot by Evelyn Sussman. Liba lived in a tall brownstone house in Brooklyn. She loved the homey kitchen and the big upstairs, but mostly she loved the big oak tree in the backyard where she would play with her brothers Saul and, and Joey. <laughs> One day, there was a knock on the door. Hmm. Hi, I'm moving and I was wondering if you'd like my parrot. Yes, yes, yes! Uh, and with that, we had a parrot. I was so excited about my mother, but mother said, Oh, one more thing to take care of. No, I'll take care of it. Uh, mother was cleaning for Passover and she kept referring to the parrot as that hummet stick bird. Pretty soon, everybody was calling him Hummates. One day, Liba's father called her to him and he said, with a look in his eye, Liba, do you think you're going to be able to say the four questions for Passover at the Seder this year in Hebrew? Now, Liba could tell that her father didn't think she could do it, but she knew that Joey was old enough to say them in English, so she said, yes, Papa, I will say them in Hebrew. So, Liba looked around for someone to help her learn. Mama, will you help me and listen to me say the four questions in Hebrew? Liba, I have too much to do. Go ask your brothers. Joey! Will you listen to me say the four questions in Hebrew? No, I'm too busy playing. Uh, so, will you help me and listen to me say the four questions in Hebrew? I don't want to. Uh, finally, Liba settled on Hamates. Hamates was a great listener. He was never too busy. He was never doing anything else. So Liba practiced and practiced. Manishtana Halaila Hazeh and Hamates learned right along. Manishtana Halaila Hazeh Mikol Halaylot Mikol Halaylot Liba and Hamates practiced and practiced and practiced until they had the four questions down pat. Everybody got ready for Passover. The table was set, the wine was purchased, the dishes were laid out, Every, everyone was ready, and all the guests arrived to the cedar. The aunts and uncles came, and the friends came. Everybody came for cedar, yay! They sat down at the table, and Papa took the matzah, <laughs> Papa took the matzah from the cover and he said, this is the bread of affliction. And he broke it in half and he wrapped up half in the napkin and he said, this is the afikomen and we will hide it and save it for dessert for later. He put it in his chair and Saul whispered to Liba, he said, don't worry, I'll steal it and you can hide it. But Joey had already stolen the afikomen. He said, Liba, here you go. She took the afikomen, she ran up to her bedroom and she hid it in her bedroom. When she came downstairs, Papa said, all right, now it is time for the four questions. And so Liba stood up proudly and she started to sing, Manishtana Halayla Hazet, Manishtana Halayla Hazet. All the guests giggled. <laughs> Her siblings giggled, giggled too. Mikol Halayla. Papa was not giggling. He looked at Liba and he said, take that parrot upstairs. And so Liba grabbed the cage and she brought the parrot upstairs to her bedroom. 
She came down and she finished the four questions without a hitch and everybody applauded. Yay! <laughs> they went through the rest of the Seder. They asked questions and they ate and everybody had a wonderful time until it was time <laughs> and Papa said, all right, now it is time for the Apikomen. Joey, do you have the Apikomen? No. Saul, do you have the Apikomen? No. Liba, do you have the Apikomen? Yes. Liba went upstairs to her room to get the Apikomen, but when she got there, <gasps> No, Afi Komen. Oh. She looked all around. She looked under the bed. She looked over and she could not find it. And then she noticed that the cage was open and there was no parrot either. Liba started to cry. Ah! Saul came into her room. She said, the Afi Komen is gone and Hamitz is gone. And Saul looked around and he saw the open window. He said, follow me. They went down the stairs and through the kitchen and out the backyard to the top of the, to the oak tree. When there at the top of the oak tree was Hametz and in his beak was the Afi Komen. Saul said, someone's gonna have to climb that tree to get the Afi Komen. And Joey said, I'm not climbing. I've got new pants on for Passover. Liba said, don't worry, I'll take care of it. She walked under the tree and she said, And Hametz could not resist. He opened his beak and started to sing, And the Afi Komen fell down, down, down. Joey grabbed for it, Saul grabbed for it, but Liba got the Afi Komen. She took it back inside proudly where all the Seder guests were standing and cheering. Yay! <laughs> they ate the Afi Komen and they could hear from upstairs where Hametz had flown in the window. <laughs> Practicing, of course, for the second night Seder. And that is the story of the Passover parrot by Evelyn Sussman. Yay! Yay!